The cruel blades of the merciless Urukai were forged by Saruman in the foulest pits of Isengard. But sculpture student Joshua Sprague had to settle for the furnace at his Grossmont College foundry lab to craft his version of the orc scimitar. The weapon was made famous in J.R.R. Tolkien's novels and then in Peter Jackson's Lord of the Rings films. The blade is distinguished by the ingenious addition of a spike on the end that could pull a rider from his horse with minimal effort. Since the Grossmont College Sculpture Department has a foundry, Sprague decided to fashion his weapon out of bronze. Yeah. Jim Wilsterman, professor of sculpture at Grossmont College, invited me to the foundry in May to observe a bronze pouring and the forging of a Urukai scimitar. Wilsterman is proud of the school's state-of-the-art sculpture facility that was built in 2007. It includes one of the largest operating foundries of any educational institution in the state, with much of the equipment acquired through donations and grants. It's designed to teach students about sculpture and techniques like bronze casting. What we do here is rather high tech. We use a uh, ceramic shell medium, which is a form of silica that is a material that can resist heat very well. So we make waxes for the lost wax process. The wax is then encapsulated inside of these molds. And then we take the molds and heat them. The wax runs out and we can replace it with bronze or another metal. Sprague's project employed a slightly different technique that required first making a sword out of wood and clay. I'm making the ridge. There's a little part that goes out in a triangular form from the blade, and it forms the, the blade part going down, as well as on the top, just a little detail stuff. The template sword is then placed in a wooden box covered with powdered graphite that is carefully pounded so that when inverted, it creates a mold into which the liquid bronze can be poured. It will soon be a sword. Bronze costs about $8 a pound and requires such intense heat that anyone working with the molten alloy has to wear the same protective gear as a firefighter. We use a MIFCO furnace. It is a very high tech high velocity furnace runs at about 1.2 million BTUs and we take it up to about 23, 300 degrees to melt the bronze and then we pull the crucible out which is the container that the bronze goes into. Then we take and clean the material by scraping off the dross which is the contamination on top of the metal and then we take and pour it into the molds. The molds can either be ones made through the lost wax process or ones like Sprague made for the orc sword which took a little extra care setting up and casting. Wilsterman encourages his students to take on fun projects like this. He's a mixed media artist whose Helix Padre Dam Cloud project can readily be seen off the 125 freeway. Public art projects like that have long been a passion for him, and he wants to pass that on, which is why he's been working on new curriculum so a new and more fitting degree can be offered to students. Where it's more specific to the facilities and what we can offer students because we have now have these new capabilities. So the degree is going to be called um, Sculpture and Public Art. It's been a long time dream of mine to sort of weld those things together and teach about them. There's not a lot of people that train artists to be public artists. They learn about how to make sculpture or how to make paintings and other things like that, but they don't really teach them how to function in a public context. And that's been something that's my specialty. It's heavy. It's definitely heavy. It's really I mean. heavy. Bragg's project may be more personal fun than public art, but it's providing him with a learning experience as he takes his work of art through all its various stages. Well, I'm about to continue cold forging the Yurikai scimitar and giving it a few more hits. The texture there is all cold forging and I'm just going to straighten it out a little bit more. But it's all part of the process. This process and many others available at Grossmont Sculpture Department aren't taught on many other campuses. Plus, where else can you get extra credit for forging an orc sword? Oh man, that is beautiful. I am so happy right now. Beth Accomando, KPBS News.